hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i create this valentine look keep watching and go so over here um this is me i'm just trying to adjust my sitting position and yeah okay don't mind this hair and here i'm using my brown pencil to line and to define my eyebrow like we all know that eyebrow is the makeup like if you're able to get this part right your eyebrow and your eyeshadow you are good to go but i will say eyebrow is the main thing if you can just you know slay your brow and without even your foundation you are good to go guys yes so i'm just trying as much as i can you know to make the blow my eyebrow look as beautiful as, as it can you guys know bows are neighbors they are not sisters at all they are not even twin so just keep watching and so i'm done you know lining my bra and all i'm doing here is to use my my brush just to you know brush to make it look as beautiful and as natural you can as you can think of so that is all i'm just doing here just use your brush to you know comb it out and make it look beautiful and natural so the next thing i'll be doing here is to use my creamy beige creamy beige is lighter than my skin tone i'm using it to line my under bra you is optional like makeup there's no rule in makeup you can choose to use your skin tone the shade of your skin tone to line your lower bra but for me, I usually love using the, 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 the shade that is lighter than my skin tone, you know, to, you know, help your eyeshadow pop, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, you know. So that is all I'm doing here. I use the shade lighter than my skin tone, as you can see, you know, to clean my, you know, lower eye. You know because i want that place to pop like the place i want it to be in kind of stand out i don't know the word i'm gonna use there so all i'm doing now is to use my flat brush you know just to blend everything so here i'll be using my skin to the color that is you know my skin tone. this is my skin tone. and this is fawn fawn is my skin is the color the shade of my skin tone if that makes sense so i'm going to use it to you know clean up the upper bro why i do this is because i want if i apply my foundation i want it to blend together i don't want you know to have different shade that is why i always use my the shade of my skin tone to clean the upper bro if I don't know if I'm making sense here. So as you can see, this is the shade of my skin tone. So fawn, I use fawn for the upper brow and I use creamy beige for the lower brow. So I'm going to use the same flat brush just to blend everything together. As you can see, everything is melting into my skin. All I'm doing here is just to repeat the same thing I did in the other eye. I'm just going to repeat it. I, I forgot to mention the concealer. You can use any concealer of your choice. Here I'm using the LA Pro Concealer. The LA Pro Concealer. That's what I'm using. LA Girl Pro Concealer. Guys, I'm done with the brow. So here, this is the 
eyeshadow palette i'll be using and i'll be use i'll be using the color that is close to red yeah you can use any shade of red you have so this is the shade of red i have yeah it's like a burnt orange but no this is not a burnt orange this is you know red and i'm using the red to you know highlight my eyeshadow light i'm just going to use it as a base rather yes i'm going to use this shade as a base because we will be cutting crease. this is going to be a cut crease eyeshadow look so i'm just you know building that red i showed you guys earlier on my crease area you know you just build build so i'm done you know applying the uh, eyeshadow and here i have my flat brush i'm going to be cutting my crease and i'll be using the color i showed you guys earlier the creamy beige i'm going to use it to cut my crease you know because i want the eyeshadow to you know stand out i want it to pop so yeah guys here yeah, i have to just go check on my baby to see what he's doing sorry yeah i'm back so i'll be using the color to put uh, to cut my crease so to cut know where your crease is you just have to put the concealer where you're seeing me just put the concealer and then you look up wherever you see the the, the concealer touch that is where your crease is so you just have to follow the line you saw me you guys saw me when i looked up you know yeah so i'm just showing you in case you don't know where your crease is you just put the concealer there you look up wherever the 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 concealer touch that is where your crease is then you follow the line and just give it that straight line so that is what i'm just doing here trying to define the line to make it as you know nice as possible I believe there is no role in makeup you just walk your way around and do whatever works for you you know yeah so all I'm doing I'm just going to use the brush you know just to make it smooth make just try as much as you can to make it smooth and you know be careful so that you don't have crack if you're your concealer crack your eyeshadow shadow will also crack and you know it's not going to be smooth so try as much as you can to make give it a smooth you know look so we're done cutting the crease i'm going to cut the other side so i'm done cutting the other side here is my mac pigment eyeshadow so i'll be using it on the area where i cut my crease so like i said earlier this is mac pigment red this is also red this is another shade of red i'm just working with the, the shade of red i have yeah so work with the one you have so here i'm also using this brush here just to you know you know make the uh, concealer stay i want it now it's not dried yet so i'm using the, the the flat brush just to you know push the concealer into my skin you know make to make it tacky if that makes sense just using the the flat brush just to make the eyeshadow stay in place I don't want the eyeshadow to move i just sorry and uh, the concealer i don't want it to move i'm using i was using the brush to you know push 
in, into my skin so here i'll be applying the eyeshadow you just you know make sure you apply on the area where you cut your crease you know so i'm just trying to be careful so i don't you know mess it up in this this area you have this part you have to be very careful you know just to you know get the eyeshadow into the area where you cut the crease Guys, here yeah, I'm done. I will do the other eye, then I will come back and show you what next. So here I'm back, and I'll be using this liquid glitter, liquid glitter to go over the my crease area. So I'm just gonna use it to line my crease area. next thing i'll be doing is to use my niece matte liner to line my eye this makeup no lashes i'm not putting on any lashes because um i was making up i was doing this makeup at night so i didn't want to put any lashes because yeah i was still gonna clean up the makeup so i'm just gonna put my liner use my mascara to comb my natural lashes and that will be it no lashes yeah i'm just gonna use my own lashes
So guys, I'll be using my Mary Kay mascara. My Mary Kay mascara to comb my natural lashes. Like I said earlier, I won't be applying any lashes here because, yeah, I didn't want to apply any lashes. So all I'm using here is my Mary Kay mascara to comb my natural lashes. The next thing I'll be doing here is to use my MAC primer to prime my face before I'll start adding my, I'll start applying my foundation. So I'm going to prime my face. This is a spray primer. I'm going to spray my face. Primer is, you know, if you want your makeup to last yeah that is at the point where you need primer you know as a base for your foundation you know for your makeup to last the whole day if you want your makeup to last for the whole day you need a primer as a base to your foundation guys i'll be using my my foundation and i'll be using the fancy beauty by rihanna in the color shade 370 sorry guys at this point my phone died so this is all i'm doing i'm just going to apply the foundation then use my brush and that is just, like i said my phone died so i'm 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 done applying the foundation and here I'll be you know highlighting my face with the creamy beige the L LA girl pro concealer to highlight I'm going to highlight my my under eye my forehead yeah these are the areas I'll be highlighting my nose the bridge of my nose my forehead my under eye these are the areas i'll be highlighting not much so here i have my belly banana powder so i will use it you know to set the area i highlighted earlier so here i'm just you know setting the highlights i did earlier So we're done highlighting i'm not going to use any cream highlight any cream contour here i'll be using my powder contour like i love powder contour so i'm just gonna contour you know just to define the face you know just to you know give the highlight the a definition yeah when you highlight you have to contour because you want that definition you know on your face you just want to you know that face to be snatched and kind of yeah so you see i'm going to highlight my forehead sorry i'm going to contour my forehead i'm 
these are the areas I will be contouring so I'm um, here I'm just trying to be as fast as I can so here I'm going to you know define the contour I'm using the the same Berlin banana powder to you know define the contour area because you want that place to be snatched like in kind of you want that you know highlight and you know that you want your face to be snatched you just want to give it that nice and beautiful look so i'm going to be using the color i showed you guys as my all over face powder you know just to you know bring everything together like we didn't highlight much here i, I didn't do any you know dramatic highlight and contour so all i'm doing here is to use my all over face powder just to bring everything together you know yeah so um after that the next thing i'm going to do the same eyeshadow palette i use i'm going to be you know taking my my blush there the same palette i'll also take my highlight you know so um the same color i use as my you know eyeshadow base i will use you know that same color to you know I'm, I'm going to be using it as a blush so i'm just gonna yeah as you can see the the change like guys so the next thing i'll also do is the same palette i'll be taking my highlight there and i'll be using this fan brush You know, just tap the excess out because you don't want you know to have some drops on your body and on your face so yeah this is basically it i'm just going to highlight and that is it So guys, I'm going to have highlight my inner corner with the same shade. I'm using it to highlight my inner corner. You want that? I want that place to, you know, pop. Like if that makes sense, if that word makes sense, pop. You know when something is popping, like natural. So I'm also going to highlight my bra bone. Yeah, you see the difference now. It's, yeah, uh, at this point, I'm going to be lining up my lip with the brown pencil, with a deep brown pencil, you know, just to you know, define that lip. I'm using my brown pencil to line my lip, and I'll be using my red lipstick when i'm done with my red lipstick i'm going to spray my face and we are done just smudge 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 the lip and yeah So 
so guys this is it yeah one thing i i think i forgot so i'm going to be you know doing my under eye and i'll be using the same shade we used to we use as base for our eyeshadow guys here yeah, i dimmed the light because i realized the light was too much i hope you enjoy watching this video happy valentine i love you guys thank you for watching bye